Aaron Donald getting it done for the Rams in Super Bowl 56. We were there when he dropped the hammer on the Bengals offense and kept them from doing anything. And on that play, Jamar Chase was wide open because Jalen Ramsey had fallen down. That would have been something if he would have had time. Joe Burrow would have had time to throw it. So, and, and Aaron Donald, as we said at the time, should have been the MVP of that game. Still believe it to this day. So all, all due respect to Cooper Cup, Aaron Donald should have been the MVP of that game. We play that because, Chris, as we found out on Friday late morning, I'm at the grocery store. Boom. Here's the text from the PFT writer's thread. Aaron Donald retires. Done. And at the end of the season, Sean McVay said, we'll have those conversations at the appropriate time. And, of course, that caused everyone to say when we wrote that story, he's coming back. He's already said he's coming back. Aaron Donald's not retiring. You're full of shit. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, Nelson. And, and, and now Aaron Donald retires. However... I don't believe that it's 100% done. No, I'm not you. Just, you, you're not why. sure. No, I have, I have evidence. I have evidence on which to base my supposition counselor, if yeah. I may. Yeah. Two years ago when he was trying to get his current contract, because he had three years left under contract with the Rams after winning the Super Bowl. He wanted those three years to be ripped up and replaced. He didn't want an extension. He didn't want, you know, extra year. He wanted it ripped up and replaced with a new deal, and they resisted. And eventually, they wrote up a retirement letter and sent it to the Rams. Not that that means anything. You don't have to, because it was a letter to the commissioner that they were going to send to the Rams. You don't have to do all that. You don't have to file retirement papers anymore. You just retire. You just say you're done. But it was part of this, this effort to get the Rams to wake up. So when they get the paperwork from Aaron Donald, that will be submitted to the league office that he's retiring. That rattled things enough in LA where they gave him three years, 95 million. So he's already used this before. And maybe this is just a different way to use it to either get the Rams or someone else to pay him more than the 30 million he's due to make this year. Cause that's the bottom line. It was a three year, $95 million deal. It was structured in a way that he could retire after two years and owe the Rams nothing. He got 65 million for two. He's due to make $30 million this year. And I think he needs to look at the situation and say, okay, for $30 million, do I really want to do this? For another $30 million, do I want to put my body through this? Is it fair to me? Look at where the market is. Look at where the salary cap is. If they offer me more, I'll do it. If they don't, I won't. That was my first thought when I saw that Aaron Donald retired because this deal was set up for him to make some sort of a play after two years. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not joining you in your, in your conspiracy theories this time. Sorry. It's not and a conspiracy. Uh, no. It's not a conspiracy. It's one person. I know. It's not a cons- don't call it a conspiracy right. theory, Howie. Right. It's one person using leverage to try to get more. That's when your he conspiracy he's due theory. To get Thank you. More. That's your it's conspiracy, not a conspiracy theory. And everybody's it's one, behind it's him retiring. Theory. And it's your theory. It's a, yeah, it's your theory, right? Okay. And you're famous for conspiracies okay. and we're going to blame you for that. I Sorry. think if somebody would offer him, I think if somebody would offer him 35 or 40 million a year, he'd come back. I don't think so. I, I think, think this he would. Is, this is done. I think somewhere between this 35 goes and 40, where, he'd come back. When I was swimming with him in the ocean, and I wish I would have took him more serious and pushed back because I think, more as seriously. I've told you, I was swimming with him, and I was like, you know, my man Mike Florio thinks you're definitely going to leave the Rams and end your career in Pittsburgh, and I wish I would have – you know, maybe f- asked to follow, but he was like, no, no, I'm definitely going to retire a Ram. That's what he said to me. I guarantee it. Right. And I should have been like, wait, wait. So do, are you saying like, you might, I wish I would have said all these things. Right. But that's what he told yeah. me the last time, let alone what they've said behind him and all that. Like, listen, I hear what you're saying. That thought went through my head for a second too. I, I know what you did, but then I think all the stuff we saw after that, right. That leads me to believe that this is real. And he's at a point in his career and life where, you know, he's had enough and he just can't find the, the drive to be the psycho that he feels like he needs to be to continue to prepare and put himself in the best position to play. And remember, he was already thinking about it going into Super Bowl 56. There was chatter he would retire after that game. Yeah. And and again, he did. He sent them the letter. It was all about getting what he thought was a more fair contract, better in line with what his skills and abilities would justify. He's held out in the past. He stayed away from off-season programs. He skipped all of training camp to get his second contract in the NFL. This is a guy who was willing to make a power play to get what he deserves. 
And my 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 point is, if someone would offer him 40, somewhere between 35 and 40, and here's how it works, Chris. If I'm if I'm another team and I'm interested in Aaron Donald, if I if I'm if I have any interest and I've seen this that happens on Friday, I I find a way to send overtures, even though it would be tampering. This is the kind if you're discreet about it, if you know, if the player doesn't have a press conference and tell the world about it, you can get away with it. If if you want to find out, back channel, contact the agent. Hey, is he really done done? Or is this like, you know, he wants like because because we'll pay it. We'll pay it. We'll pay him 40 if he wants to come play. If we can work this out, we'll pay him 40 for a year. He could be the missing piece for I and and if they don't, then fine. I'm retired. Like like maybe in his mind, I'm just not playing for 30 million. And if somebody wants to offer me more than that, we'll, well cross that bridge. His, his, his it's not part of a deal was plan. groundbreaking. I mean, ground. It was way ahead of the market, right? I'd have a hard time thinking he did. They, we're just passing it this year. But it's not anymore. He signed it. Well, but yeah, it's, it's three right. years later. That's how great it was. I mean, that's how great the contract Dude. was. All right. Well, either way, it's a ton. And Mike, like I, you know, Aaron Donald's at a point where I don't think he has to go through these charades anymore. He could have just been like, "I want more money," and the, and everyone was like, "Damn, it's Aaron Donald. He wants more money. We gotta, we gotta do that." So that that's where I just I do think it's done. We'll see. We'll see. But or, either way. Or, or look, what he knows what a pain in the ass it was last time to get more money. I mean, he did it two years ago as the guy who should have been the Super Bowl MVP, clearly the best defensive player in football at the time, and it took months for him to get the three years, ninety-five million out of the Rams, and he eventually had to threaten to retire to get it. My point is, we're never going to have somebody who's going to flat out say it. I mean, hell, it was just a few weeks ago that Kyle Pitts was denying that he'd talked to Kirk Cousins. People say things other than what they believe all the time. It doesn't make it a conspiracy theory. That's what pisses me off when that gets thrown I know, around. It's but just you're going a little human. on conspiracy There's here. Two you're going sides. a little on. No, you're uh, just going no, on not. your side no. right now. It's all your side. He's, saying, he's giving us all the facts all we saying, need along with the organization no, and all the no, players. He has, yeah, he you're has. just going with hearsay. He yes. He's, I'm, I'm, just, I'm looking at circumstantial evidence. Last time around, he retired to get his contract. This time around, he goes straight to retirement. He goes straight to checkmate. With the Rams. If they want him to come back, they got to dig some money up and get him to come back. If somebody else wants him, all you got to do is make the phone call and see what it would take to get him. And in his mind, and this is the best way to negotiate, you know, the best deals I've ever gotten on a car is when I decided I don't want the damn thing anymore. Oh, then all of a sudden they come to my number. It's like, but I don't want it anymore, but they're coming to my number. So I guess I'll buy it now, but I have to get myself out of the mindset of I don't want it anymore. And so for him, I don't want it anymore. Well, wait, we'll pay you $40 million. Well, maybe I do. So I'm not saying he goes into it deliberately hoping and planning and intending to come back and take the best offer that's out there. He's done. He's done. My point is, I think that that door isn't completely closed if somebody wants to give him another grab. Oh, contract. gosh, you've the never had a door closed ever. You're going to be talking about Brady this skills. year. He might come back. Like close he might door. come back. No, he's going to see them on closed. the field, and he's going to go, closed. I could do that on, better. Chris. I think Chris. I might have to come back. I'm having some fun. <laughs> I know you're having some fun, but let's be realistic. Yeah. We've seen this movie before. Yeah, I, I don't know. Think it's ridiculous I've seen this suggest. movie before. This you guy, too. This guy gets offered it. forty million dollars. Yeah, he ain't back. coming back. I'll bet you whatever you want. He ain't right. coming back. All right, and I bet you nobody offers him forty either. It's not about that. Either way, with you and your conspiracy theories here, let's pay homage and tell everybody theory. how Shove awesome those right he is. Up your ass. All right, good. He's, He's awesome. awesome. He's a like. First let's give him some praise and stop talking about your theories. All right. The guy's awesome. First ballot Hall of Famer, right? We definitely somebody, put him somebody there. Somebody did call him the somebody did call him the best defensive player of all time. I mean, I, I'm not ready to go that far. I'm not ready to put him past LT. There were some pretty damn g- 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 good defensive players of yeah. yesteryear. He was the best one in this NFL. He was disruptive. He was dominant. They couldn't run a walkthrough in LA with him around. Right. He blew up everything. He did. He was a he was and, an F the play up guy. Even added to the great stats. It was a double whammy, right, Mike? I mean, that's what he was. He was so good that he could get away with swinging a helmet during practice <laughs> and bash and, somebody and, in the head and not get in trouble for it. Yeah, right. and not get in uh, trouble for seriously, it. Seriously, that's when you know you're in the upper room of the Hall of Fame, the Deion Sanders room, when you can bash somebody in the head with a helmet and uh, still be okay. But yeah, I mean. 
Uh, you know, again, you get a talking to greatest. Please don't do that again. Greatest defensive player of all time. Listen, that's certainly debatable in the conversation. I don't think there's any doubt, right? Him, Reggie White, Lawrence Taylor, Ray Lewis, all right, JJ Watt, right? Uh, th th it's that type of guy for sure. Where you don't even think twice. When it's going to be unanimous, you know, first year Hall of Famer, uh, special oh. special football player, and a guy that you know, I just it, it is an awesome guy for for off the field too. A guy you want to be around. A guy that's always smiling. And, uh, you know, he, he, he played the game the right way for the most <laughs> well, part, too. Yeah. Not always. Well, not always. Not always. On the field, Nobody he wasn't supposed to, to smile and always be nice. He was, he was a psycho in a good some, way on the field. Some button, <laughs> there's, some, yeah. there's some button that you press on him that you don't want to press on Aaron Donald. But you're right. We've seen, we've seen him before. We've talked to him before. Great guy. Great player. Yeah. Upper room of the Hall of Fame. Right. I saw somebody point out. Pete said we got to go to break, but I'm going to say this. Somebody pointed out that his presentation will be very short. That's how they all should be. That should be the bar. I know it's too late for that, but the only people who get in the Hall of Fame, I think, should be the ones where you don't even have to argue about it. That's the true Hall of Fame. That's the upper room. The ones where you don't even have to have a presentation and a debate. Everybody knows that this is one of the all-time greats. That's what Aaron Donald is. Whether he comes back or not. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see. I'll be watching. You know what? If it happens, if it happens, you're yep. never going to hear the end of it. Yep. <laughs> All right. Let's take a break. More PFD Live right after this. <laughs> Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.